unweighted there, which is good, right? You're trying to get 80% up in the air. You want to get her as unweighted as necessary to not interfere with the um, any of the orthopedic issues. I and see. we also want her up in the air to the point that she can uh, fully extend um, her feet and try to start with the big walk. Okay. Awesome. So she's at 4.2? Yep. Right. I am so much more flexible now. After what? This is my the third, third time. time on. And I don't know what would I be like if I hadn't met you at that at that event. I'd be still struggling along and now I'm struggling along but much less struggle. He noted, John noted that I have a much bigger stride, a bigger step, and from my point of view, I'm not trying to make it bigger. I'm just, I'm just walking, no. so it just feels normal, and that's a really good feeling because that's how I always felt before, before many years ago when I was walking normally. I feel more stable at the moment. I can, I, even just standing here, because normally it's really hard for me just to stand. Yeah. But I feel much more stable. But you know, I'm not. It's not. I'm not as stable as a normal person. Mm -hmm. But for me, my insides feel more stable. What do you think about the glide track? Does that for you? I'm curious. Mm. I think just the walking, the the length of time of walking, and the repetitiveness of the of the process builds that sense of stability. And I don't walk that much. I, even walking around the block, I'm hesitant to do without someone with me because what if I fall? Mm -hmm. I can't get up or I hurt myself. So I don't do that much walking unless I'm with someone and I'm not with someone who's going to go walking with me that often. Mm -hmm. My trainers, of course, will, but um, this, I think, gives me a chance to walk. I feel more steady walking mm -hmm. after mm -hmm. doing the glide track.